Today we're talking about how to manage screen time with your kids right after this. My kids are seven, five, four, and two, um, and they all have a tablet. They were gifted to us, um, and I will say that they are lifesavers. When um, they are getting on our nerves, we say, go and get your tablet. Or when it's quiet time for the older ones, when the younger two are napping, the older ones, go get your tablet, quiet time, they're occupied, all that good stuff. However, I believe that it creates a little bit of tension and I found that they were just getting addicted and they always wanted their tablet. They always wanted to be looking at either my phone or the computer or the TV or their tablet. And so um, I was able to come up with a system that works for us uh, thanks to Pinterest. So I will link the Pinterest post in the description. Um, but basically it's a chore chart. Um, or some semblance of a chore chart. Uh, when you have four children, uh, the house gets dirty very, very quickly. And nine times out of 10, the parents are not the ones making the mess. And so I really want to, really both my husband and I, uh, we really want to instill um, a level of um, pride and like ownership in taking care of the home and so we had always had the kids do chores um, but listen they're old enough now where it's like you can do more than just clean your room and sweep the floor and wipe the table and put the shoes away uh, so what I did was um, the idea was to do a chore chart and each chore represents a certain number of minutes that you can accrue towards your tablet now I have a whole host of age-appropriate chores in this jar that I got from the dollar store um, along with these craft sticks and uh, what I did was just write the chore and the number of minutes that it's worth so for example this one says you are going to clean the counters for uh, five minutes here's another one that says take the trash to the curb and that one's worth 10 minutes um, there are things such as water the plants, there's pick up your clothes off the floor, take the trash out. Um, and so what I did was I tried to, um, most of them range anywhere between 5 and like 20 minutes. Um, the ones that I like to do the least are worth the most amount of minutes. And so I just have like a tally sheet and as they complete them, uh, they go into the completed jar and I just tally up how many uh, minutes they received and that's the number of minutes that they can have on their tablet. So it provides a little bit of incentive for the kids um, and then they're actually begging me, mommy can I wash the dishes, mommy can I wipe the counters off, mommy can I vacuum? So um, that's really helpful for me. The only thing that I will say that I actually help them with, obviously, um, like there's one on here that says mop the kitchen. They're not about to get all the stuff and fill the bucket on their own, uh, but I will supervise them with that. I'll supervise them with like wiping down the toilet, cleaning the tub, things like that. And we try to use um, as little chemical as possible. We use a lot of essential oils and things like that. Um, so that actually really helps. Um, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. Um, I will say that it did take some time um, for it took time for the kids to get used to it um, at first what I did was I said well you have to whatever you whatever chore you do during the day that's how many minutes you get for that day um, and that lasted for about three weeks and then I said you know what it's still too much tablet time we're gonna work all week to get your tablet time on the weekend which is for us it's Friday Saturday Sunday um, and so we are in week two of that and they still ask me, mommy, can I have my tablet? Can I have my tablet? I just have to remind them like, hey, it's not Friday yet, but if you want extra time, you can do a chore. Um, so I'd say it's going pretty well. Um, and it's to a degree, it's like slowly weaning them off of feeling like they need to have their tablet every day because truly it is not um, a right, it is a privilege. Um, and so we want to treat it as such. 
um, and just create a healthy balance of pleasure, education, and also taking care of this house because they be the ones that's messing it up. Um, so anyway, let me know in the comments if you have a chore chart or what you like to do to help your kids keep track of screen time. I'm always looking for new ideas. My ideas are not the best, they're not the only ones. I always love hearing from you guys. And don't forget, hiding is overrated. I'll see you next time.